Hi, my name is John Platt. I'm a sales rep and product specialist here with USA Industries. In this video, we're going to be discussing far end, also known as through the tube plugging for the snap it plug. Before we get into the items and tools you'll be using today for far end or through the tube plugging, we first need to address safety. While utilizing these tools, you need to make sure you have all your proper PPE, such as proper eyewear, gloves, steel toe boots, and any other PPE required. The items you will need for installing a snap and plug through the tube plugging will first be a simple ram puller and foot pump, just like we used in the near end plugging installation video. Next, you will also need your snap it installation manual with the step by step instructions and installation procedures that we're going to be going over today. The tooling that will be used for your far end plugging is going to be your extension rods with the near end pull rod and your compression tubing. Together, these make what's called a channel head pull rod assembly. In order to make it a far end pull rod assembly, you need to add the reverse thread stud and your far end plug coupling. Extension rods and compression sleeves come in size one, size two, and size three. And they also come in two foot, four foot, and six foot increments. Today we're gonna to be using a size one channel head pull rod assembly because we're gonna be installing a size 555 snap it Junior plug. Just as we had mentioned before, the snap it plug is a three piece plug, has a pin, a ring and a breakaway. Today we are not going to be using the breakaway, we're actually going to be using our far end plug coupling to go with the far end plug reverse threaded stud. The coupling and stud can be purchased separately at USA Industries. When you do purchase them, there will be one coupling for every 10 reverse threaded studs. In order to install the size 555 snap and plug, you're going to need your size 555 plug positioner. Just like we did in the near end installation video, you want to make sure that you have the side that says ram facing the ram and the side that says plug facing the plug before installing the snap plug. Your next step, we're going to get the plug ready for far end plugging by removing the breakaway and adding the stud and coupling. After you've removed the breakaway, you want to then add your reverse threaded stud. Once the stud is securely fastened into the IV of the pin, you want to then add your coupling. So now that the stud and coupling is added to the plug, it is now ready to be added to the far end pull rod assembly to install the snap and plug. So now that we have added the coupling and stud to the snap and plug, it's now ready to be connected to the channel head pull rod assembly. When you're putting this on, you wanna make sure you do it by hand. You do not need to use a wrench or anything to install the, uh, connect the plug to the channel head pull rod assembly. Now that you have connected the plug to the channel head pull-out assembly, it is now time to insert the assembly into the body of the ram. First thing you want to do is remove your safety nut as well as your expansion nut. Just like you did in the near an installation video, you're going to have the threaded portion of the pull rod go into the body of the ram. This is the back side of the ram, which means it will be away from the tube sheet. From there, you're going to connect your expansion nut. While you're tightening down the expansion nut, you want to make sure that the spacer is inserted into the ID of the ram. You will tighten this down hand tight. Once you have it hand tight, you want to then take your safety cable. Put the safety cable on the near end pull rod and then tighten that down with your safety cable nut. Just like you did in the near end installation video, the safety cable nut will be touching the expansion nut. Now that we have the channel head pull rod assembly assembled into the body of the ram, you're now ready to install the plug. Next, we're going to get the snap and plug installed into the ID of the tube. But first I want to address the fact that we are not utilizing a brush kit like we did on the near end installation. The reason being is you cannot get the brush kit all the way down the ID of the tube to the back tube sheet. So you want to make sure those tubes are as clean as possible. Whether you use a flex shaft cleaner or have them lance out. Definitely want to make sure that the ID of the tubes are as clean as possible for the installation of the snap and plug.
What we want to do now is insert the plug into the ID of the tube. You want everything to be as parallel and level as possible with the tube that you are installing. You want to make sure that you do not let this go as you can potentially break your channel head pull out assembly. As I mentioned earlier, for a size 555 Snap It Junior plug, for far in or through the tube plugging, you're going to run up the hydraulic foot pump to 3000 psi. From there, we're going to decompress it, then run it up a second time. You run up a second time after you've tightened everything down. There will be some slack here. You will tighten it down with the expansion nut. You want to make sure that your hands are out of the way of the safety cable and no one is behind you or near you while you're installing this plug. I just ran it up to 3000 PSI and I'm going to tighten everything down with the expansion nut. After it's tightened down with the expansion nut, you want to tighten your safety cable back down where it touches the safety cable and the expansion nut. Once again, make sure your hands are free of the safety cable. No one is around you for the second part. Now I'm going to run back up to 3000 PSI a second time. After you run up a second time, you want to decompress. When taking everything apart, you want to first remove your safety cable. You're going to back the safety cable nut off, take off the safety cable, back the expansion nut, and remove the ram from the channel head pull rod assembly with your spacer. When you're removing the channel head pull rod assembly out of the ID of the tubes, please be aware of the reverse thread stud. As you can see, we were able to get everything out of the ID of the tubes. You got your plug positioner, you have your coupling, and your full channel head pull rod assembly. Now we have successfully installed a Snap It Junior 555 carbon steel Snap It plug on the far end or through the tube plugging.